They are part-time tween jocks and troopers, yet full-time awkward 12-year-olds, who take to striking a pose and acting out from creative personas and selfies, who think they might be doing nothing that significant but really you just might be saving the world in your not-so-super way, starting by changing the sphere of influence in your world one talent at a time. As you're just partaking in a supernal plan beyond yourselves, and that makes you supernaturals. My word of encouragement to you is titled. Boys watching a wildfire. I set myself on fire and people come to watch me burn. Or. Light yourself on fire with passion and people will come from miles to watch you burn. Ask yourself what makes you come alive, and go do that because what the world wants is people who have come alive. Set yourself on fire. I've heard that 18th and 19th century revival speakers were successful because they would set themselves on fire and people would come to watch them burn. Not literally. They were so passionate about what they were doing that they drew people's attention. There is something magnetic about passionate people. Colm de Mirabeau said, none, but people of strong passion are capable of greatness. Find your passion. Pursue those things that stir something inside of you, not what brings you the most money. Greatness comes from passion. Look for what you have the most passionate about and you will find your greatness. Set yourself on fire and people will come to watch you burn. When you are doing what you love to do, no one has to motivate you. Often, we trade in our passion for the mundane, mediocre, and most secure. Stop. Set yourself on fire and people will come to watch you burn. Larry Crabb says, The core problem is not that we are too passionate about bad things, but that we are not passionate enough about good things. God has filled you with a passion. Maybe that passion has been suppressed. Maybe it is hidden deep in your soul, but it is still there. You just have to dig it out. The best part of my job is helping people dig out and discover their passions. Our godly passions can give us life. Tony Campolo says, The world is not so much sinful as is dead. Sometimes a loss of passion causes that death. We are still walking, talking, and breathing, but something inside of us has died. Set yourself on fire and people will come to watch you burn. Let's look at the word enthusiasm. The end of the word enthusiasm comes from the Greek word for in. The thus and enthusiasm is a form of the Greek word theo. Theo is the Greek word for God. The word enthusiasm literally means, God in you. If you are a follower of Jesus, then you are a walking bundle of enthusiasm. There is a spiritual passion that lives in and through you. Set yourself on fire and people will come to watch you burn. What is your passion? What gets you up in the morning? What creates so much enthusiasm inside of you that you have trouble sleeping? What has God put inside you that you cannot do it? Don't know. Here's how to find your spark or thing. Stephen was raised by a single mom. He enjoyed writing for fun, but nobody else seemed interested in his stories. He just jotted them down for himself. When he was 12, he entered an essay competition and won first place. With a surge of encouragement, Stephen started writing more. Joined his school's newspaper team. Served on student government. Wrote every chance he got. Shared his stories with anyone he could. That kid was Stephen King. The same Stephen King who has 59 published novels and whose books have sold more than 350 million copies. What was the spark? That seemingly random essay competition. Sometimes all it takes is something to spark a teen's interest and motivation. Here's to the spark, pursue that, go after that, live a life of passion, because life is too short to passively wander along without a care in the world. Care. Be enthusiastic. Live life to the fullest. Follow God's passion for your life. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. In essentials, unity, in non-essentials, liberty, and, in all things, charity. Personal and social holiness. Holy conferencing. Be present at our table, Lord. Set yourself on fire and people will come to watch you burn. Keep being your own superhero because all the superheroes that everyone is trying to be are taken by DC Comics and Marvel. Your friendly schoolmate VR Game Boy. Sergei K.A.Y. Fire.